Welcome to Guy Cuckoo Gamers, I'm Daryl Benson, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about how much fun I've been having with Destiny. Seriously, I implore you guys to pick it up. Um, we've been, let's just put it this way, I have not been ever using uh, the, I, I can't say it because it's listening to me, but that system record that. We're good. Uh, so much in my life. <laughs> um, it, there are so many awesome moments. I've done everything from doing a, a spiral, like almost like a barrel with my sparrow speeder, just by kind of hitting a rock and just kind of going here, blah, 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 and then landing on the correct side, to uh, just getting some really amazing shots. Everything in the game feels really satisfying. And that's really hard for me, at least, to say about like any first-person shooter. I, I think games like Call of Duty and Battlefield are just soulless. I I feel like I'm getting through the game and the story portions, and I, I don't really feel like there's anything there. And they try to put these stories in there, and they voice act it, and they put really good graphics, but at the end of the day, there's no soul to it. I really just couldn't care less about what I'm doing, and when I'm killing something, it doesn't. I don't feel any satisfaction from it. The, the controls, the layout design, uh, and just the, the, the situations you get yourself in are really, really, really fun. Uh, so far, I've made it to rank 14, which admittedly is a little lower than some of you people who've been playing it like 24 hours a day. But, you know, considering I have to go to work and stuff, I think that's pretty damn good. I, I'm not the lowest score I see out there, so there you go. And, uh, anywho, uh, I made it to Venus so far and I'm beating all the missions on Earth and the Moon. Uh, I think we've done two or three missions on Venus. And you know what? For an MMO-style first-person shooter, I actually like where the story's going. And, uh, speaking of which, I don't know if you guys heard, but IGN leaked the end of the game, despite the fact that there's no way in hell they got to the end of the game yet, which basically means they leaked information Bungie gave to them. Not cool. I know a lot of people are pissed off and that's just not right. Just giving you a warning, do not go to IGN anytime soon or else you might accidentally come across that article and spoil it for yourself. I didn't, but just giving you that warning. Anywho, uh, seriously though, it's a, it's a fantastic game. Uh, the graphics are amazing. The control is amazing. And there's like so many funny moments. Even when the game does something it's not supposed to do, it's hysterical and it's fun. And I tell you, you know, I had a lot of fun playing just solo by myself. Um, but any single time I play with Mike, uh, basically someone, you know, in my firefight squad, uh, it, it's just, it's so much fun. You know, I'm actually going to go there. I, I, this is the most fun I've had with multiplayer since the old school days where you actually played in the same room with somebody, like on old Nintendo consoles. I feel like, I feel like almost like a kid again, you know, playing those type of games, and it, it, it brings out that level of joy and that level of fun. And, you know, anyone can say anything they want about this game, and some of it may be true, most of it is not, in my personal opinion, but it doesn't take away that from me. And uh, nothing anyone says. In fact, this this game could get 5 out of 10s, which it won't, but it could get 5 out of 10s and I would still have a fun, fun, fun time with it. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's more about what I'm getting from it than what the general gaming press thinks of it. And considering it's already extremely popular, then that just shows you that I'm not the only person out there who uh, feels this way. So I know that's a bit of a cop-out for news today, but I, I just really want to hit home. This game is something special, and this is coming from someone who could care less about Halo. So I hope that sinks in. You know, this isn't just some Bungie fan who's just, like, totally slobbering over everything that Bungie does, uh, and thus I like this game. No, I, I really have been very highly critical of their stuff. This, though... This is my cup of tea. This is a fantastic game, and I implore you to go buy it. Anyway, so that's been another bite-sized edition. Please join us tomorrow.
for yet more bite-sized gaming news, and we'll see you next time.